E3 as we know it is officially dead. Which really probably shouldn't come as a surprise to most of you as E3 has felt sort of like a corpse for the past couple of years and that's just kind of been parading along. They're dragging it around like Weekend at Bernie's. But uh, it was just officially announced by the ESA. They put out a statement. After more than two decades of hosting an event that has served as a central showcase for the U.S. and global video game industry, um, the Entertainment Software Association has decided to bring E3 to a close. Um, we know the entire industry, players and creators alike, have a lot of passion for E3. We share that passion. We know it's a difficult thing to say goodbye to such a beloved event, but it's the right thing to do given the new opportunities our industry has to reach fans and partners. Obviously, things like the Game Awards have taken over um, the sort of central coming together point we have once a year for the industry, not just with the awards uh, to honor the latest releases, but also to showcase new and upcoming titles. Of course, that is a, a different subject for another day as to what the Game Awards should actually be about, but it's the reality that many now watch the Game Awards strictly just to see the new releases. Um, I Personally, I grew up watching E3 on G4. Uh, that is where a lot of the inspiration for this channel even originally came from, was I wanted to be able to attend E3 as press and as media, and in order to do that, I wanted to uh, create a brand and a, and a channel to uh, to sort of reach that goal, um, and, and and it was really a, a two for one, right? It was it was create a spiritual successor to G4, and then in doing so, also reach E3. Uh, I did get to eventually attend E3 both in 2017 and 2018, um, which was an incredible. I I loved it, uh, regardless of what the media and the press and the industry folks themselves might say I had to attend as the the gamer pass uh, because that those were the years where they opened it to the public which many would cite actually as the downfall of E3 since it went from a business industry event to sort of a, a gaming convention almost but regardless uh, I think E3 um, Definitely still has a share of passionate fans. You know, obviously I'm one of them, but there's still a lot of us out there who who grew up with E3. We were used to it. It was such a staple in the industry, um, even though the industry continued to grow and change and new competition and new shows popped up all around. We still liked E3. We still wanted to see E3 thrive. And unfortunately, the reality is they had many opportunities to to, I think, grow and listen to feedback and adapt and figure out new ways for the industry to connect. But at the end of the day, they just couldn't figure that out. And um, and then COVID, I think. I, I think prior to COVID, the opinion of E3 was already starting to, to, to wane. But uh, COVID especially kind of was one of the big nails, final nails in the coffin, which is what pushed all these other studios to figure out how to do their own thing, you know. It's kind of ironic, Nintendo was the first one to pull out of E3, um, as far as doing, they, they stopped doing their live sh press conference shows on stage, and created this new thing called a Nintendo Direct, and I think at the time everyone was kind of like, well that's a weird decision, and now we look at it as the complete norm, and Nintendo Directs are one of the biggest digital events we have every year now, uh, with some of the biggest hype in the industry for when new new releases are, are announced. Um, but tell me your thoughts on E3. Share in the comments below. I'm curious to hear what everyone has to say about E3. Share your favorite memories of it, uh, or your or your least favorite memories of it, because there are a lot of of you know almost 20 years of E3. It started in '95 and made it uh, technically. You know, if you count if you count up to today, 18 years, but there was, you know, it was a mess in between. But, hey, as always, uh, I just wanted to hop on and, and, and do this real quick to share my thoughts. Uh, by the way, I am starting to do a lot more content over on Twitch. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash vgx7tv where I do more streams. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about Ultima Gaming. Where's Ultima Gaming? When's the new Ultima Gaming? Are we going to get another Ultima Gaming? And I, it's not gone, but it's not really currently on a high list of priority which I know is sad for many of you but um, there's just a lot going on right now and I don't have 
the proper resources or team to really make my vision what I want it to be. And so until I can figure some of that out, um, I'm kind of putting it on the back burner. So, but as always, thank you all for watching. Appreciate everything you guys do for me and my, and your support. It means the world to me. Always has, always will, but I'm not going anywhere. Still here making content, doing what I can. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.